and he said, there's none like it. Huh. So it's a very unique uh, sword. It's very large. That's the first thing you see is it's very long. It's 62 inches long, 5 feet 2 inches. That's the first thing. The next thing you see are these rounded hand guards. This, so this is, is a very accurate replica then. Yes, yeah. this is the shape of Goliath's sword okay. found in the cave with the Ark of the Covenant. Goliath's sword. Goliath's sword. Ah, okay. Yes. So it was kept with the temple furnishings, hmm. you know, we're told in 1 Samuel. So, um, Well, this is all very, inter very yes. interesting. Let's get into this, well, where all this yes. was found. Yes, yeah, so we'll, okay. we'll get into this a little bit later too and we see the slide on the, the verse we're talking about that. But. Okay. So you have a, a slide presentation to show us of the Ark of the Covenant. Now, yes. first of all, uh, if it's not in your presentation somewhere, I don't want to steal your thunder, yes. but uh, where is this located? The oh, Ark, we get into that. The Ark of the Covenant? It's, the Ark of the Covenant. Okay. It's, it's uh, north of the old city walls, mm -hmm. and it's in the Garden Tomb grounds. Hmm. It's located in that area, underground in a cave. And that's where Mr. Wyatt found it. It's still there today. Interesting. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, so, without further ado, go ahead. Tell us about sure. the Ark of the Covenant and how he found it. Yes. And so our first slide here is myself with Ron Wyatt in 1997. Um, as we were saying, Mr. Wyatt is the discoverer of the Ark of the Covenant. He also found the Noah's Ark site, the Sodom and Gomorrah sites, the Red Sea Crossing, the real Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia. Mm. And so his credibility has been established. And when he comes out with this report of finding the Ark of the Covenant, we should believe him. Because, you know, on the Day of Atonement, in historical times, when the high priest would go into the most holy place to anoint the most holy, or the Ark of the Covenant, only one person would go in. And it wasn't a committee going in. It was one person, and Mr. White was chosen by God to be able to go into that cave. He mm. came out with a report, and it's very exciting information. And we talked about the, the death of those folks who tried to follow in and do something, uh, you know, uh, noble with it, but they, they died going in. And we, we talked about that on the first episode of the series. Yes. Yes, God, you know, is, is protecting the ark. In 1995, there were six men sent up this tunnel to try to get to the Ark of the Covenant, and they were all struck dead. Mm. And Mr. White was asked to pull their bodies out. 